The D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, it's your boy D's Media back again with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Today we're about to talk about one of Fulio suspects, uh, Sean Gathright. Uh, pretty much all of them pretty much uh, had a, uh, a hearing. Uh, they all was denied bond, but pretty much, man, uh, Sean's attorney, man, um, she urging that, you know, her suspect wasn't there. Um, you know, she asked uh, pretty much the lead investigator, do he have any evidence to show that you know her suspect uh, physically, any video evidence to show that her suspect was there. And you know, they said no. Um, she pretty much said that, you know, um, her suspect's cell phone was left in the car, uh, but he wasn't there. Um, at the end of the day, man, you know, she got a good argument, you know, but the one thing that's gonna mess them up is Alicia's statement, you know, that's the only thing that's gonna mess them up. and. Uh, he could sit there and argue or any of them can argue, hey, we wasn't on the scene, this, this, and this, but clear as day from the Airbnb footage, you know, from the cell phone, from J Jacksonville all the way to Tampa, you know, from your mom's car getting impounded, then Alicia's statement saying that, you know, her and her boyfriend, Gutterze, was tracking the car and they was in coordinates with Sean. So it's like... <clears throat> No matter what his attorney is trying to say, it's already kind of been proven or at least so far that dude has something to do with it or at least he was around, you know. But um, it's sad, man, you know, that 18-year-old don't want to take responsibility of, you know, what he was involved in, you know. A lot of these youngsters think that they're going to go out here and lay belt and they think that, oh, man, but what happened if you get caught? Can you take that charge? Can you stand up, you know? Here it is, Sean, you know, getting, getting connected to, you know, what happened with Fulio uh, in 2023. You know, he getting connected to another incident in Jacksonville involving a female. So here there's three, four incidents, you know, where it ain't go well for the other people. But, you know, when it's time for you to stand up and, and, and face the judge and the jury for what you've been out there in the streets doing, you know, you don't want to. That's why the streets ain't worth it no more. Because you got youngsters out there, man, that... They want to think about consequences and they want to think about a lot of stuff by the time they <laughs> headed down the wrong direction. I don't respect that, man, you know. But at the end of the day, man, you know, um, you know, his attorney could try to argue that all she wants. Um, I just feel like from all of the evidence that they got and how high of a profile case that this is with Fulio and the point that they trying to prove to solve it, I just feel like none of them is going to make it, you know. Um, they'll be lucky to get life in prison because um, with those Florida laws, you know, they please is only going to be to get life in prison, you know. It, it's not going to be to get no type of numbers, you know. All of their charges is ranging from life or higher, you know. So it's over with, you know. It's over with. It's over with. So, they could pay fifty thousand dollars, ten thousand. You know, he can go get one a good lawyer or whatever the case may be, man. At the end of the day, I don't see nobody beating this, man. Um, you know, um, at the end of the day, you know, the girl folded um, in certain aspects. You know, Sean folded. Um, you know, Sean keeping shell cases from prior situations with Fulio. You know, his mother car, you know, Rashad Murphy getting the Airbnb and all of the suspects getting seen on video. Um, they the, the video just released uh, uh, Sean and his co-defendants loading up a, a, a big duffel bag that you can clear as day, probably fit rifles or more in. So, bro, it's just looking bad for them, man. You know, Sean family turned against them, you know, uh, gave up. Uh, uh, surveillance from their crib the night that he allegedly got done and left the Impala there and took a Toyota 4Runner. Then he ended up getting pulled over in the, the, the SUV. So it was like, it just was all bad for him, man. But um, his lawyer can sit there and try to argue that all she won't. I just think that all of them going to prison for the rest of their life. And that's just the bottom line of it. Um, they should have thought about their actions before they hopped in that car and drove hopped in both of those cars and drove three and a half hours to do that to Fulio. You know, now it's too late, man. You know, a lot of people want forgiveness and 
A lot of people want people to feel sorry for them, but when you jump in them streets and you take somebody's life, man, don't nobody feel sorry for you. You know, it's now it's time for y'all to stand up and go do y'all time, man. You know, y'all y'all want to play duck duck goose and y'all want to, you know, pin the tail on the donkey and y'all want to get Fulio that bad, man. You know, it's over with. You know, they got y'all on surveillance at, at, at the club. They got Sharon Mom vehicle, you know, at both of the clubs Fulio was at on surveillance. So I just don't see them beating it, you know. But at 18 years old, man, I know what I was doing at 18. You know, when I was 18, I was I was working a job, worrying about some girls, trying to get my first car. You know, I I was really pretty much a a a, a, a teen or a young man, whatever you want to call it. When I was 18, I wasn't out there wilding how Sean was. You know, and at the end of the day, he got to sit back and take responsibility. Him and them four other people got to take responsibility for what they did. And that's the and that's the sad part about the streets because a lot of people don't want to step up and take responsibility. You know, you got this lady trying to argue in court on your behalf that you weren't there, and it's all this evidence that time that you was if you wasn't there, you was around it. Only thing that they got is their best argument was because whoever allegedly did it had on ski masks. Okay, y'all had ski masks on. But y'all got a lady that's putting y'all on the scene and y'all got two vehicles that got tagged and, and that's in the impound as evidence. You know, then you got the, the, the surveillance from Sean's personal family's home that's showing them loading the bags before they left and then showing them unloading the... Man, it's over with, man. Then you got the Airbnb stuff that Rashard did. Man, the best bet they better go in there, man, is try to work up some type of agreement, man, so that they don't have to get execution, man. But the only deal that I see them getting, whether they talk or not, is life without the possibility of parole, you know? Um, I just don't see them getting no deal sweeter than that. And I think that go for the lady, too, you know? Um, you know, she, she trying to sit here and tell a half a story, but now at this point, man, it's too late, you know? You about to go down too, you know, it, it's too late, you know, but um, at the end of the day, man, um, rest in peace to Fulio, um, you know, um, but your boy, Sean Gathright, one of the um, five suspects, uh, pretty much, man, um, was denied bond, where well, they all was denied bond, all four of them, uh, pretty much, man, um, you know, his attorney tried to argue that her 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 client wasn't on the scene, that she, he didn't do it. But, you know, from all the evidence they got, I don't think that's going to work. Uh, they still ain't caught um, Davion Murphy, you know, but when he get caught too, I'm pretty sure he going to have a no bond. Um, I don't know if Richard went to court yet, but I'm pretty sure he going to have a no bond too. But the first three suspects, um, uh, Gutter Zay, Alicia, and Sean just got hit with a no bond. Um, I'm pretty sure Rashad and Davion are uh, going to get the same thing, oh, and especially when they catch your boy. But it's your boy, D's Media, signing out. The D, man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs>